Okay, this is a video to show you guys how to recognise standing deadwood in winter. It can be a bit difficult when you can't tell by the amount of leaves and stuff on the trees. Um, I have to say as well, it seems a bit unfair to me to be calling it deadwood. I'd normally call it fallen wood, but as it's still upright, I can't really say that. But it's not dead, it's growing so much. Um, so the first thing that I'd be looking at is the direction that it's leaning. You can kind of see all the other trees around here are... Uh, are all pretty straight and upright and this poor thing is like leaning and it's got the heavy branch that's kind of giving the direction of the lean for it so if it was a tree that was growing in this direction and all of the trees were growing in this direction I'd say that that would be because of the wind direction when they were growing but as it's the only one that's kind of pointing in that way that would be that would be the first indication um, the second indication, you can see quite clearly here, the bark is being stripped away. So when the tree is no longer growing, it's no longer producing the outer layers of bark. Um, and they kind of all start like just dying away. And you get this kind of, yeah, I can see there's like inside of the trees coming out of the outside of the tree. Um, the next thing, this is why I don't like calling it deadwood, is the amount of fungal growth that you've got on here. I mean look at that, it's like supporting its own, its own kind of life system, that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the next thing to look for is on dormant trees that are like just waiting to bloom, you will normally see little like kind of buds growing and signs of life. This has only got moss and some more fungi growing. Um, and then the last check that you can do is if you just, I've cut a little bit away here, you can see the inside of that. That is a kind of a brittle brownie colour. I can focus my camera in, I can't use technology. Um, and compare that to over here, we've got a new tree um, with some new growth on it. And where is it? Where did I get that little bit? Yeah, you'll see here, if you get a live tree, then it'll come out and it'll be like a green kind of sappy colour, have a little bend. I mean, this is willow, so it's going to be quite green and bendy, but that's quite a uh, the brittleness of the twigs. And then go back to our dead tree over here. See the colour of that, it's all brown. Um, and it's, yeah, totally brittle. It will snap really, really easily. So I'm reckoning that this one is probably gonna fall down this summer, hopefully once it's dried out. And I'm hoping that's gonna be my next winter's firewood in a couple of years. So yeah, there you go, standing deadwood. That's not really dead, but that's how to recognise it.